there, this is Christian Baker from christianbaker.net. I think it was Abraham Lincoln who said, the best way to predict the future is to create it. And I do an exercise with my clients called Back to the Future. And I take them through an exercise where we, we, we almost imagine that this, they're at this crossroads where they've got a choice to make. And we get them to imagine what will happen if they carried on along the left path, the path they're on, doing what they're doing, doing what they've always done, versus taking a different route taking the right path that leads them to, to the best possible future for them, the outcome that they actually want in their life. Because what happens in life is we reach a point where we look back and we think, if only I had, you know, they look back kind of with, with an air of regret, kind of kicking ourselves, wishing we'd done things differently, versus looking back thinking, I'm so glad, you know, I'm so pleased I did X, Y, and Z. But the good news is you don't have to wait till you reach certain milestones in your life and, and kick yourself and, and, and look back with the regret. You can almost do that exercise yourself and just give, give yourself a few moments to think about. You know, if you've got decisions to make, if you've got choices to make, think about potentially where both paths could take you. But instead of getting to that point, almost imagine the consequences of that and bring back those insights, those learnings, those lessons, those discoveries to the here and the now to help you make a decision which then can take you on the path and on the journey that you would like. So take a few moments to, to give that some thought and imagine where your Back to the Future would take you. And as Doc said in the film Back to the Future, you can accomplish anything if you put your mind to it. Or if you put your mind to it, you can accomplish anything. So why not think differently, make it happen, and remember what your mind believes you will achieve.